My ankle. My ankle. My ankle. My ankle. You want to keep on charging? No. Yeah. No. How do you want people to remember you? You're the great star of America. Not the world, just America? Forever the world, yes. Like with the, you're the great star of the world, go, yes. Kara's mom, Alice, originally reached out to me to share her passion around adaptive technology to you know, solve problems for people with disabilities to help them live more independently. I'm really impressed by all the things that Alice set up to help Kara live on her own. I mean, it's really simple, but it totally works. She set up a whole series of voice prompts that play throughout the day to remind Kara to do things like walk the dog, to brush her hair, even to make coffee. Kara, turn on the switch on the coffee maker. Cause the best part of waking up is folders in your cup. It's a beautiful system that enables somebody who has very little sense of time, date, schedules, to live independently. She's paralyzed on the left side. No use of her left hand or arm. She kind of can fling it around a bit. Um, her left leg is paralyzed. She's legally blind. She only has half vision in both eyes. Are you about done getting dressed? so you can make it a great day. She never gained the ability to read or tell time or manage money, except she'll take a $20 bill over a $5 bill. What do people think about when they meet you? I'm just different but unique. In my own way, yes, uh-huh. Hmm. She was right at my side when she got hit. She was five and a half years old. I'll never forget that moment. It was some, you know, bluebird day, just gorgeous. Wanted to ski that last run of the day. Kara was getting tired, so she and Jim sat, were sat down in the snow. She was sitting, she was eating some snow, and then boom. She was hit on the right-hand side, um, stopped breathing immediately. Her, her little skull was shattered. The, the young man that hit her, his ski, his ski actually broke on her head. So Jim and I were like paralyzed. We did not know what to do, we were just in such shock. And then um, Brenda, little 17-year-old lifeguard at the Hot Springs pool, and she skied up and then she and Jim together started the mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. By the, pretty much by the time we got down, the helicopter was there. You know, I just, we just didn't know. She was so little. I kissed her goodbye because they wouldn't let us go with her. And I didn't know if I'd ever see her again. <laughs> but she made it. Yeah, I try not to think about it. Scariest, one of the scariest times of my life. Jim carries a lot more than me of, of guilt and blame. I, he, you know, he said I should have 
We should have gotten up. We should have sat down. I wish it had never happened. He's blamed himself for a long time. I remember when the neurosurgeon came down the hall to talk to us, he said, I would not have done anything unless I thought she had a chance at some sort of quality of life. I mean, after 35 years, that still is like, I mean, that gave me so much hope. It gave me hope that, you know, the two months, the surgeries, the ventilator, the, you know, relearning everything was, yeah, it was tough. You know, even though I was a nurse and Jim was a nurse, we never had ever had a clue how difficult it was for people with traumatic brain injuries to recover the hours and hours of therapy and time and no guarantees of what the final outcome would be. We were told to put her on a waiting list for a group home. And I think Kara's probably nine or 10 years old when she was like, I'm not doing that. I want my own life. I want my own house when I grow up. Alice has also built a team of caregivers that can help Kara so that she can live on and be independent after Alice is gone. Mm -hmm. Warm it up. Mm. What's your favorite thing about riding Fox? He goes where I want him to go, and he does what I want him to do. Yeah. You might assume that Kara lives a life of dependence and neediness, but she actually has a lot of freedom. Have I told you about my dog, Tucker? No. He is like so brand new, I swear. Huh? I was thinking that must be something new. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. What kind of things does your mom do for you? She pushes me too darn far. Why does she do that? To accomplish what I need to do. How does that make you feel when she pushes you? Like a rock star. I heard that Kara really wanted to do a climb. And then I heard her goal was to climb the mountain where she was injured. I really wanted to be there. In some ways, I know that Kara will always be that little girl who was hit on the ski slope. But Alice told me there are times when Kara understands things in a way that would surprise me. What will you think about when you get to the place where the accident happened? The way things used to be, and should have been, and what is to become. I'm a great person, and I just would like to hop out of bed and make it a great day. Oh, little, 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 little. Now! Where is my monkey? Right here. Kevin's right here. Okay, suck it down, sir. So Well, I know she's gonna have moments where I can't, I can't, I can't, and we'll have to go. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And then she'll just be, she'll be so proud when she's done. Dear God, please. Help us up that hill and down the hill as soon as possible, my man. There, huh? Have you been training all summer for this mm -hmm. again? Do they make uh -huh. you go hiking regularly to get in shape? Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. We're gonna go kick this mountain right in the ass. I don't huh? care. What the hell happens up there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by the rope team, by everybody here. Eric, Skyler, I can't thank you guys enough for what No Barriers has brought 
has brought to our life. And I, and I, I thank all of you. And I'll probably be crying on the hill. I'm surprised I'm not bawling now, but I'm glad I'm not. So. Yeah. Is everybody ready? Yes. yes. I felt a raindrop. When you organize a project like this, you're hoping for a spectacular day. That's not what we got. But in a way, it kind of fits. Kara was hurt on a beautiful sunny day, and after that, her life changed. Something to eat? It's like the nacho room. All these milk toads are stuck together, so it counts as one milk toad. I'm going back. We're not going back. Well, so what? I want to go back. There you go. Wow. There you go. There you go. When you have a brain injury, often you lose your filter. And in Kara's case, her filter is out the window. No matter what Dave Murray says, I hate you. Love you, Kara. Can I send you the hiya? We all have a tug of war going on between the pain of the moment and these deeper aspirations. The difference is we hide it. Kara screams it. It's almost like Kara's all our inner voices, saying, I hate this shit. So I'm gonna just shift mm -hmm. how I hold oh. your arm a little bit. Try and tuck your butt in. Oh, oh it is, you bitch. What? Mm -hmm. Did he say that word? Oh, oh yeah. Kara, uh -huh. I'm shocked. Uh -huh. oh. How you feeling? Fine indeed, uh-huh. It's hard. Mm -hmm. really? Get out of you stupid ass dogs here. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, Sometimes the things Kara says are downright hilarious. <laughs> Even without her injury, I think she'd still be sassy. Uh, uh, electrical wires, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hike. Let's hike up the electrical wires. No, let's down. Uh, no, let's down. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I hate it. And once we get there, I hate it. Help you. I hate it. When are we ever going to? How about this? Every time you say I hate it, I'll say uh, I love it. Oh, no, okay, no. I won't. Do, okay, I won't do that. Oh, yeah. oh. It's really hard to listen to Kara in pain, wanting to turn back. But I wouldn't be here unless I thought she truly wanted this. Yeah. You you wanted to go there, okay? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You're yeah. so close. Do you have yeah. it in you? Yes. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah. Yep. Almost there. I can see it. And then you can cuss and stamp and scream or or just celebrate. Yeah, you made it. This is, this is pretty much where everything happened for you. You and Dad, you were skiing, and you sat down, and you were eating snow, and you were laughing, and uh, doggone it, those skiers came just way too fast and ran right into you. How dare you, just how dare you. Yeah, yep, yep. Do you want to beat the ground or anything? I will, give me that. Thing. Yeah, just beat the ground, let it out. Let it out, yep. Yep. Yeah, let it out. I hear you! Oh. 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 O
says we don't have the guts in ourselves either. We do. I think you have more guts yeah. than almost any person I've ever known. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You have more courage inside mm -hmm. of you than I have. Mm -hmm. You have way more. Mm -hmm. And I am so proud of you, and I love you so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm so, I'm so proud mm -hmm. to be your mother. <laughs> Yeah, this is my own personal no barriers flag. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Will you take it as a yes, gift? Uh -huh, yeah. It's probably upside down and backwards. There you go. It's all wet and dirty. It's been to a lot of summits, and I want you to have it today because I respect the hell out of you. How do you feel? Like I have accomplished a barrier. Yes. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes, you have. You've accomplished a huge barrier. Uh -huh. Carrie, you are tough as nails. <laughs> My life is pretty different from Kara's. We have different barriers. We have different achievements. But I do understand what it's like to be inside that prison and have no idea how to break out. You feel invisible. You have these deeper yearnings and aspirations. She has all that. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, uh -huh. Hey Kara, how you feeling? Like I could jog a mile and a half. Yes, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Every parent, I, I swear, said I could not have done what you've done. I could not have had a child who was normal and then not be normal. They've all, so many parents have said I would rather know from the beginning and not have you know, that little taste and then have it taken away. I love her so much the way she is now, but it's a grief. It's a, it's a loss. Yeah, we, we made good memories, we made a good foundation. And I think that foundation is what has carried her. I just feel like she's made a big difference in, in a lot of people's lives. They see the perseverance that she's had, just being out in the community, just showing people that, hey, I belong, I'm here, I'm part of where we live. She's just not afraid of life. Missed out on a lot of her normal life, but she's had her own life. And she's a very special woman. How proud are you? Choked up. Are you choked mm -hmm. up? You're choked up? Are you mm -hmm. gonna cry? No. I know Jim and Alice struggled with what Kara's life would look like, whether it all be worth it. But she has drive. And <laughs> she has personality. She has community. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And she has love. Mm -hmm. Love you. But should we eat? Mm -hmm. To heck with it. Let's go mm -hmm. eat, huh? Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything you want to tell people when they see the video? Hmm. Just that I am who I am. Hmm. Don't touch me up again. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh my God! God damn it! Stop, everybody! Okay. Stop.
Because we're pushing you all me. the oh. barriers today. Barriers of crap. Stop yeah, Get your hand on my ass. Yeah, swear. Well, she knows how to swear, doesn't she?